I'll have to admit, I was really surprised when I saw this for the first time. And then I went around and checked all of my faucets and found the same thing. This is what a faucet should look like. Clean, nice, and this, I haven't even looked at this one yet, but I'm pretty sure it's bad, is what it looks like without being cleaned. And there's no way of knowing because it just sits up here like this. And how many times do you look underneath your faucet? And you're washing your hands with this and all that stuff. So I recommend that you, first of all, check all of your faucets and make sure that this isn't happening. You probably have to clean them once a year. It's come in two different pieces. You just push it down in there, the white part. This actually is an indicator of what the flow rate on the nozzle is. I'll post down below where you can get a bunch of these with different nozzles. This one is supposedly two gallons per minute, which seems like a lot. And there's different ways to clean this. Some people use CLR. I think that's a little too much. I'm gonna use these tools, a toothbrush. I've got a tooth cleaning kit that I'll post down below that's exceptional for cleaning teeth, but it's also great for cleaning stuff off of really stuck on things. You know, a lot of people use caustic chemicals and all that kind of stuff. I just use distilled vinegar. Let's knock off some of the bigger gunk. Yee. Well, by the way, I'll also post down below where you can get some of these. I don't like wearing a whole glove if I don't have to, because it kind of cuts down on my dexterity. Wow, look at that. Get most of the stuff off. By the way, this is a new toothbrush dedicated to the cause. When I was trying to figure out how to do this, I went to this old house, and all they did is take the old one off and replace it with a new one. And then they said, oh, it's only four or five dollars, and time is money. Well, maybe, but this one in particular, which is a satin nickel for this particular faucet, is $15. And I'm not even sure it includes that. For a couple minutes, you can just clean this all up. Take your vinegar. You can use it to clean all sorts of things, actually. I'm gonna drop the ring in first. And you don't have to necessarily do this, but I found it, it just works fairly good. And use vinegar, because if you drink a little vinegar, it's not a big thing. If you drink some CLR, yeah. Not good for you at all. So I'll let that sit there and just kinda let the vinegar do its thing. Come back in about a couple minutes and see how we're doing. You can see it falling off already. It's been about five minutes. Shake it out. Get the old toothbrush. Clean it off a little more. See some corrosion there. You can take some paper towels. That did a lot of good. Now I'm gonna take dental hygiene tool set. Do a little bit of cleaning with that. Again, you wanna be very careful because you can get down into the metal pretty quickly. And this has got a really nice edge on it. You can see the angle of the faucet on this one. So this is actually sitting down here and that's where the drips stay after you shut off the faucet. Clean it off as best as you can, and then just drop it back in the vinegar for a little more. Let the chemical reaction do its thing. The bubbles indicate where the vinegar is reacting with the buildup on the metal. Clean it up right off for you. I like to do this every couple years, at least inspect them, and you'll find that the buildup takes a good bit of time, depending on how much you're using the sink or whatever it is is you can use a fingernail and get in there. Then you damage your fingernail. So I've come up with an even better way. You know those little bread tie things? They've got the, about the consistency of a fingernail, maybe a little lighter. You could also use a guitar pick. And you don't damage your fingernail and you can get the same kind of action going. So let me do the final cleanup on this. We'll put it back together and show you the results. Here it is, all cleaned up, ready for another year or two. It goes on turning to the right. I'll go a little left to line the grooves and then just hand tighten it in. Now you could probably leave it like that, but I have some soft wrenches I'll post below this build. It's really helpful, these things. I'll give it just one more twist, quarter of the way around, just to make sure it's up tight in place without over tightening it. And there you go. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you like home repairs, making and breaking stuff, designs of all kinds. I do designs on sports gear, camera gear. I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe. 
because you never know what you're going to see.